Hey, good morning everyone. I'm just here doing a little bit of practice before my morning lessons start and I just want to ask you guys the question, is your practice helping or hindering your ability to shoot lower scores out on the golf course? Now I guess that what I'm going to discuss may seem a little bit controversial to some, but I honestly think that golfers are really terrible with the way that they practice. If we were comparing ourselves to the football team, the football team might train two, three times a week and then play on the weekends. They're doing all this prep work in the uh, ability or with the goal of, of playing their best on the weekend. And I kind of see a lot of golfers and a lot of students that I'm, I'm trying to help that they might come for a lesson and then instantly think that, that they're, they're going to improve their performance out on the golf course and they kind of skip the practice part. Unfortunately, we're, we're trying to complete a really complicated task. So I think we need to practice a little bit smarter and ask ourselves what we're doing or, or what are you trying to do? How are you going to do it? And how are you then going to take those skills out on the golf course to help you try and shoot some lower scores? So if you're guilty of maybe hitting one large bucket of balls a week um, and you're hitting the same club with that bucket and it's to the same target, it's not really simulating what you're going to, uh, simulating what you're going to experience when you go and play. You'll never hit the same, same shot twice when you're out on the golf course, so why are we trying to do it in our practice? If you're a golfer that you might play once or twice a week, you might play a Wednesday and Saturday morning in the comp, and uh, your warm-up or the balls that you hit before you go and play, you're kind of considering that to be your practice. And yeah, I don't want this to sound a little bit unfair, but unfortunately, that's just a warm-up. It's not really practice. So my question is, how are you trying to improve your performance if you're not really putting in the work off the golf course to help that happen. So one thing I'm going to suggest, try and find yourself just half an hour or an hour every week to at least, at a minimum, make some swings at home if you can't get to the driving range. If you can get to the driving range, every single golf ball, give it a purpose. And I guess that purpose doesn't need to be, I just want to hit it better or I want to hit it straighter. Try and make it a little bit more specific. If your misses are to the right, can you hit it less to the right? If your distance control is really erratic, can you try and strike it a little bit more out of the center of the face? Try and make sure that there is something very specific that you're working on and even set up a drill. I've got a drill that's set up here that's just helping me work on my alignment, ball position, and then making sure the strike is, is pretty consistent on where I'm hitting the ground. So I'm setting up a drill. This drill is then allowing me to create a feel. And I guess it might feel better, but I don't think that feel, again, is specific enough. We need to make sure that feel is quite focused. I might think that the feel is squeezing the golf ball a little bit more, or something in my hands, or something like how my weight's moving across my feet. That feel's gonna be really unique. But that feel is what you then need to take to the golf course and go and play with that feel. And it might work and it might not, but that's the simplest way for you to try and bridge the gap between the driving range and the golf course. But you won't have a feel unless you put in some really dedicated and focused practice. So I think it's really important for you, Yeah, and I want everybody to play better, but if you're not practicing with, a, with this, clear intent and focus, I think then you're just hoping to play better rather than being able to be confident in you've, you've done the work, you've done the practice and you can then take it out to play. So what I'm going to do for the next series of member clinics over the next couple of months, if you, I want you guys to attend as many member clinics as you, as you would like, but I'm not going to work on a single technical piece with any of you during those clinics. Those clinics are specifically going to be around better practice and improving your skills so that you can take what you've got out and shoot lower golf scores. I want you to understand your own golf games a little bit better rather than always feel like you've got to work on something technically. The technical piece, that needs to come over time. You've got to chip away at it. But you can absolutely understand what it is that you do on the golf course 
how it affects your scores, understand your misses, and make them better decisions when you're out there playing. Also want to say massive congratulations to a few re you know, recent students who have had some great successes. Hats off to Brian Harrisburg for his monthly medal, that was a fantastic golf score. To James Irwin and Blake, Greg Plummer on winning the Ambrose last week, well done lads, you've put in a lot of work. And also to Zach Anastas, relatively new to golf, but Zach's handicap has plummeted massively and recently won a, a Saturday competition as well. So well done to everyone. But um, yeah, please come and make, make yourselves oh, uh, available for the member clinics. There's three of them a week. But I want to make sure that uh, during those clinics, I help give you the skills to practice and, and understand your own game a little bit better so that you can go out on the golf course and shoot some lower scores and play with a little bit more confidence. Okay. Uh, if you obviously have any problems, you know where to find me. This studio, it's not far away. Please just stay patient with it. We're just waiting on one more piece of paper to be signed off and then you're going to be able to use it yourselves. But if you'd like a lesson or a fitting, we can come on in and, and use it and, and show you what it can do. It's a really impressive venue. But uh, good luck with your practice. I hope to see you at the clinics. And the goal of this sport, shoot lower golf scores.